Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons. Can you see me getting sleepy? I'm getting sleepy. It's it's uh it's getting close to my bedtime. <laughs> but I'm gonna do another video. So this is the uh, the land title sheet. Well, I'm probably gonna do two sheets on this one, but this is our first sheet, and we want to basically set up our boundary view here uh, in this viewport. And so I want to show you guys how to do that with the base drawings that we created, the line work drawing and the anno drawing. So we're going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to make a new layer. We need actually need two new layers. So this is going to be boundary line work. And we're going to have xref boundary anno. And uh, I'm going to set both of these to color blue. which is the color I usually use for my XREFs. Um, I'm gonna make zero the current layer. Okay, so let's drop in our two drawings. So we're gonna go ahead and insert the line work drawing first. So there's our line work final. And uh, we wanna drop that in right where it's at, coordinate space. I got something else in here, I don't know what. Yeah. Something down here. Oh, that's a vicinity map. So I'm going to move that up. I'll probably put that in a separate drawing, but for now I'm just going to move it up so it doesn't mess up my zoom extents. Okay, now we want to put in our. Uh, I'm actually going to undo this deview twist. Uh, now we're going to put in our boundary anno. Oh, let's get this on the right layer first, this XREF. So this is the boundary base. Okay. So, or the boundary line work, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're gonna um, whoop, get click hat because I'm tired. Now we're gonna insert our boundary anno drawing. Okay, so that's in place now. We wanna set our Annotation scale, as you can see, these need to get cleaned up. So let's go in and clean these up real quick. So we're going to get rid of all this junk. Okay, we're going to add the scale we need, which is one inch equals 300 feet. So that's the scale that we're going to be at. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to come over here and I'm actually going to rename this. We're going to call it LTS1. Okay, and you can see, boom, dang, oh man, could you get any, any, that's just, that's the thing of beauty right there. I just like where that landed. Um, let me rotate my north arrow before I forget because that would really suck. Oh, now it's backwards. Upside down, I mean. Okay, uh, man, this looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna slide this down a little bit. And you can see it's gonna be hard to get everything in. Um, I may have to adjust this label a little bit. I'm actually glad that happened because I wanted to show you guys this trick. So we're gonna run a rectangle over our viewport here. And we're gonna use the ch space or change space command. And we're going to drop that into paper space. Okay. So now, if we go into model, we have this viewport footprint and model, and we're actually going to copy that. And uh, we're going to come into our boundary anno drawing. Get rid of that stuff. I don't need it. And uh, we're going to paste that to original coordinates. So now I've got my viewport frame in my anno drawing, which allows me to see where my cutoffs are going to be. Right. So I've only got one right here. But uh, we don't want to do that more than once, so we actually have a layer that we use for this. So it is, uh, I think it's layout, uh, lines, viewport, footprint, and it's non plottable So I always rename the def points layer when I get the chance. And uh, we're going to make it a color down here. I like we'll color, we'll make it red. Okay, so it's, it won't plot. Uh, it just is a, just helps you uh, get your labels oriented correctly in your anno drawing. So now I can see that I gotta pull this up and I can kind of see where it's gotta be. Okay. So I'm gonna save my anno drawing now, jump back into my land title sheet.
update the xref and uh, there you go now I may have some some other minor changes to make here uh, but I'm not gonna have many I noticed that I, my mask isn't coming through on that yeah so let's see so I might have a problem with my level 2 style let's go fix that real quick I need to fix it in my template too so this is I noticed my other labels aren't showing up either. This is on survey boundary text line labels. Yeah, for some reason I lost all my other labels there. I don't know what happened. Let's see what style does it say this has. See, let me pull it out a little. Ah. That's level two. Oh, this is master view. I always like this set to active view. Then you don't have that problem I was just having label line. So I want to um, edit the style and make sure the mask is turned on. I also want to set this layer. So um, let's see. I'm trying to remember where the mask is. It's in here. Bearing and distance, background mask, we want set to true. All right, so that'll make sure that it shows up above our line work. All right, now it's masking the way I want. Okay, I still don't know what happened to my level one labels. I will definitely have to figure that out. All right, so there isn't a lot more to do there, man. Like, I did a good job on that. Uh, pat myself on the back there. <laughs> um, so uh, we did pretty good on that. So uh, well, let's update our scale bar real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're actually going to start working on on the rest of these uh, this information here. So we've got our notes on our vesting deed, our vesting deed land description, our table A item notes, our easement notes. Um, so we're going to start hammering that stuff out. Uh, we need to add references. Um, in fact, I'm going to do that real quick before I forget. So because I've got a nice layout grid here, I can just copy this text right over. Boom. All right. And okay. So we'll we'll start hammering out this sheet. And I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I should record that or not. If you guys would benefit from that, um, I may just uh, draft it and then show you guys what the finished product looks like. But I'm at about, uh, I'm almost at 10 minutes for this video, so I'm going to wrap it up. And, uh, oh, you can see I've got this layer on. That's not good, right? So we've got, let me show you how to fix that real quick. So you remember in our, um, in our uh, line work drawing, we have some hidden layers with some notes for, to ourselves. So we want to make sure those are frozen in here. So if I come into my layer property managers under XREF and select the XREF, what I want to do is I want to freeze this text hidden layer. I'm going to turn it off too. And then I want to do the same thing for these property corner points. So we want to make sure, yeah, so now they're gone. Okay, so, oh, and we want to, f and uh, just because it, it's cleaner, um, I want to freeze my overall, uh, my boundary, and I want to freeze my overall lines overall uh, I'm gonna freeze those either I don't want to see it it won't plot because it's non plottable but now I can actually see what I got oh there's one other layer I need to freeze uh, 
turn this off and the ties I'm going to turn off for now. All right, now this is looking better. Okay, except I'm missing my labels, so I got to go figure out what happened there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.